Babe, are you okay? Babe. Hmm? Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine. You know I can stay home, right? I don't have to go to work today. It's fine. I'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Are you sure? Because I know you saw her yesterday. No, you have to see her today. It can't be easy. It's necessary. I mean, we have quite a lot to discuss. Family stuff that needs to be addressed. It's not like she's going to stay anyways. It's better to get this over and done with. If you say so. But if you need me, hmm? just call, okay? I'll be here before you can blink. <laughs> going to stay to have breakfast. Ah, come on now. As soon as I get to work, as soon as I can get back. I know you said you're okay, but I'm still very worried about you. I don't know what I did to deserve it. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Mm. Love you. Love you too. Uh, by the way, mm. you're burning your breakfast. Oh, shit. nice what? your place oh thank you we try so is mr man around no he has to go to work um sorry please sit down thank you um would you like anything to drink no I i'm fine i made breakfast you kind of cut me in the middle of preparing something for later so it's fine i had breakfast at the hotel this morning Maybe a little later. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. 
So, mom and dad, I don't think I saw this one. You were in here when they took it. So, huh? you were saying so. Oh, before that, how are you? You've asked that before. We didn't get a chance to talk yesterday. I know, right? The old place was chaotic as hell. Well, we would have had enough time to talk if you came days earlier. I'm sorry about that. Um, it was hard to get a ticket on such short notice. Okay, it's fine. So, what is it you wanted to talk about? Uh, how you are, how you've been. You know, Mac, the kids. It's kind of been a while. Uh, they are good. Mac is on a business trip. He really wanted to make it, but he couldn't get time out of work. The kids are with your nana. Okay, that's, that's cool. You haven't met them, have you? That's not my fault. I wasn't blaming you, Susan. Well, maybe sometime soon. So, how about you? Me? When is you and Mr. Man tying the knot? Soon. Actually, we're engaged. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. So, when did you propose? Two months and three days ago. Two months? Yeah. Just before. So, have you set a date yet? They're looking at sometime at the end of the year. So soon. So, how long would you be around? Uh, I have a flight for later tonight. Tonight? Yeah. But I... What? Nothing. Look, Suzanne, I wish I could stay longer, but I have a life to get back to. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. It doesn't sound like nothing. Makes no difference. <laughs> Look, I'm trying here. You say so. You know what? Forget it. I came, didn't I? Yeah, and you're leaving again, as always. Oh, I know this was going to happen. I don't even know why I bothered. You don't know why you bothered. Because every time we're together, this always happens. What always happened, Mimi? This. You're acting like you've committed a great crime and you just cannot let go of it. The show fit. Wow. I can see you have something to say, so go on, talk. It's not like you care anyway. If I didn't care, would I even be here? Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much for caring. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to see your sister. This is what all this has been. This is why you invited me here. I invited you here because you are my sister. But no, you are trying. So thank you. Thank you for bothering. Thank you so much for taking time out to attend your own bloody mother's funeral. Seriously, Suzanne, do you really think I wouldn't have been here if I could. You were not even here for Papa's funeral, so I wonder why you're even here for Mama's. I didn't know about Papa. And by the time I found out, it was already too late. That's right. You were busy trips in all over the world to even check on your own parents. That was uncalled for. Do you know how hurt I was when I found out? You cannot even imagine what it was like. How could I? You were nowhere to be found. Exactly. I was somewhere else. All by myself and alone. I cried myself to sleep for days. At least you had people. You had family. You even had mama. And now she's gone too. <sighs> Susan, what do you want me to do, eh? What? What you've always done, Mimi? Nothing. I've done nothing. <laughs> Susan, I've always done the best I could. Who was it that paid for Papa's surgery when he had his first heart attack? 
who was it that paid for Mama's trip for Ungos' wedding in Yankee? It's always about money with you. You know, you think you can just throw money at every problem? I too have spent money even when I don't have. But you know what? It's more than that, Moa. I was here. And I wasn't. Yes. Okay. So I wasn't here. But do you think that it was easy for me? It was always easy for you. You never had to take responsibilities our whole lives. It was always me. Always the responsible one. The one everybody expected to do things right. I was the one who took responsibility. I was the one who carried everyone along. And where were you? You don't know what I was going through, Mimi. You have no idea what I had to go through. So don't talk to me about things you have no idea about. Clearly, you left and became a stranger. I tried to keep in touch. I sent countless messages. I tried all the numbers you have, but you did not even bother to reach out to me. Oh, please. Do you think that I did not need someone to be there for me? For years, I was all alone. Waiting and hoping that maybe one day, just once, you will call me. Look, Suzanne, whatever you think about me, it doesn't matter. Okay? I have nothing to explain or apologize for. I came here because of our mother, and I came here because they asked me, so whatever qualms it is we have, let's put that aside. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. What is it? I'll be right back. Is everything okay? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm fine. Here. What is this? A copy of Mama's will. Uh, isn't it something you should leave for later? You won't be here, remember? Right. Besides, I took over Mama and Papa's estate as a lawyer after Papa died. Right, I remember. Something wrong? Nothing. Have you read it? I thought it would be best if you read it together. Okay. Um, you said something about lunch. Yeah, it's still early. Uh, I'll be leaving early, so I just thought it would be nice to eat before I leave. I thought you said you were not hungry. Well, I am now. Okay, so we would read this after lunch. Okay. I've put the stew on fire. Hmm? To warm it. Oh, okay. 
What is wrong with you? Me? Nothing. You're acting funny. What makes you say that? Because you're biting your nails. And you always do that whenever you've done something wrong or whenever mama catches you in the act. Okay. Okay, so should we start reading the will while we wait for the photo? Uh, uh, no, after. Spill, what's going on? I don't understand. Something is up and I know it. Even if there was something wrong, how is that your business? It is always my business. Aha! <laughs> Mimi fucks up and little Miss Perfect swoops in to save the day. What is that supposed to mean? Have you ever wondered why I never called? Maybe I was just tired of your constant nagging and whining about how you do everything while I was joyriding abroad. Maybe I was just tired of your condescending, judgmental bullshit. Wow. I <laughs> see I'm not the only one who has something to say. You started it. See, you're deflecting. Okay, and I'm not judgmental. Yes, you are. So they kill. The one who never makes mistakes. I have made mistakes. But no. The world must be coming to an end. You know what? I'm not falling for it. What exactly are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. I don't believe you. Well, you don't have to believe me. And why must you always poke your nose into everyone's business? Also, oh, now you're calling me a poke noser. Isn't that your occupation? Seriously, if the show fits, this is not about me. Do you think that Mama and Papa didn't leave you anything in their will? I don't care if they left me anything. I don't even want anything from them. So you're saying they wasted your time? I did not say that. And what is it? Would you just stop pushing me? I am sick and tired of everyone judging me. What is that? Stop trying to change me. No, Susan. Can't you smell that? It smells like something is funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see your plan. What plan? You were about to burn the house with me. Bifonka, how was I supposed to stop you from leaving? <laughs> you should have seen your face. So for a minute, I was thinking you were actually going to leave me here all by myself. Oh, to be honest, I actually thought about it. Wicked girl. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to purse something else. I was... I was pregnant. I don't understand. Before Mama and Papa sent me abroad, you knew him. Who? Charlie. You're kidding me. Charlie didn't want to take responsibility. <sighs> He said he knew I was sleeping, seeing other men. But I knew it was ease, you know. Before I could summon the courage to tell Mama and Papa, I was already a few weeks along. Mama was furious, but Papa didn't say a word. The way he looked at me. I was so disappointed. I don't think I've ever been so ashamed in my life. I don't understand. That was 10 years ago. I met Mark like five years ago. Charlie is four and Dory is two. So what happened to the baby? Two months into the pregnancy, I miscarried. All the Trouble, all the bother, all for nothing. But, but then why didn't you come back? They wanted me to. But I just thought it was best I stay. I just couldn't stand it. 
you know, and I'm I'm sure that Mama, I sure I'm sure they were relieved that I was gone. Come on, Amy. Mama and Papa loved you. Maybe. But I'm sure they were also glad that I mean I don't have to be around to spoil their only good daughter. You know, I couldn't I couldn't stand the shame. I couldn't stand the disgrace. I couldn't stand people whispering behind my back. I don't, I don't think I would have been able to handle all of that, especially for you. Me, 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 but I... I didn't want you to know, Susan. I, I couldn't talk to you. And I know that I could not see you. I just... You know, every time I stare in the mirror, I saw... I saw you looking at me with the same disgust that I had for myself. I just wanted to be away from everyone. I'm sorry, Susan. Please forgive me. Oh, shh. You have nothing to be sorry for. And you also have nothing to worry about the wheel. The wheel. I thought he said you did not read it. I'm a pop noser, remember? <laughs> hey, babe. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll just go and come back. Uh, no, it's fine. Hi, I'm Mimi. Hey. Oh, yeah, we met briefly at the funeral. Hey. Uh, everything okay? We are fine. You sure? I'm getting something prepared for lunch. Okay, cool. Bye. I'm sure you must think we are crazy. Well, he knows I am, so... And <laughs> you're my twin. <laughs> it's been a long day. I know, right? <laughs> I'm glad we did this. Me too. But I hope it's not going to be the last time I'm going to see <laughs> oh you. Oh God, no. Things are going to be different now. Good. Um, I was thinking that maybe Mark and I and the kids can come attend your wedding. <laughs> that will be fantastic. <laughs> Goodbye, sis. You know what? After all this time, so many years and still, looking at you is like looking at my own reflection. Mm. And I must say, I like what I see. I know. <laughs> <laughs>